fields because of my path to liberation and damnation. May they experience happiness, be separate from suffering and disability. I will establish them in the state of unsurpassed, perfect, comfortable, and precious Buddhahood. O oh, Mother, saint beings, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who carry obstacles on my path to liberation and damnation, may they experience happiness, be separate from suffering and disability. I will establish them in the state of unsurpassed, perfect, comfortable, and precious Buddhahood. Dalai, Dhammara, Zibi, Dai, Nobara, Zibi, Gai, Tarba, Dhan, Dham, Jin, Jin, Bi, Barda, Yubara, Zibi, Dham, Jin, Jin, Zho, Zibi, Manang, Ga, Dhan, Yang, Bi, Zin, Jin, Dhan, Jin, Dewa, Dhan, Bi, Dung, Ara, Dhan, Ra, Ra, Nyur, De, La, Na, Me, Ba, Yang, Da, Bara, Zho, Bi, Zan, Jiu, Rung, Bo, Je, Do, Bara, Sa, the Sandra I achieve enlightenment, I perform virtuous deeds with the body, speech, and the mind. Until death, I perform virtuous deeds with the body, speech, and the mind. From now on, this time tomorrow, I perform virtuous deeds with the body, speech, and the mind. We take refuge in the Kandaru Lama and the Lineage Lamas. We take refuge in the deity of the Mandalas of Yadam. We take refuge in all the exalted Buddhas. We take refuge in the perfect Dharma. We take refuge in the excelling order of the Sanghas. We take refuge in all the noble Dragas and Dakinis and the Dharma Gardens, the possessors of eye of wisdom. Until I attain the heart of enlightenment, I take refuge in all the Buddhas. I take refuge in the Dharma and the likewise in the example of the Bodhisattvas. As the people as the Buddhas in the enlightened mind and the progress on the Bodhisattvas path, uh, true for the benefit of all sentient beings giving birth to Bodhicitta, and apply myself to complete the stage of the path. In the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, most excellent, I take refuge under enlightenment's reach. By the merit of a generous and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. May all mother sentient beings, boundless as the sky, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be liberated from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they never be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in calamity free from attachment and evolution. So now we go to the short mandala offering, page 10a. The ground is sprinkling with the sainted water and stirred with the flowers. It is adorned with the meadow, the spring mountain, the four continents, and the sun and the moon. As the Buddha fear I offer it, may all sentient beings attain the happiness of the Buddha fear. To the Lama who possesses the three kayas, I offer the altar in order and the sacred offerings. With my body, word, and all that is visible, please grant me the supreme realization and enlightenment. Whatever Mary I have gathered through postations, offerings, confession, rejoicing, beseeching, and praying, for the sake of enlightenment of all sentient beings, all this I dedicate. On Guru Renam and Allah, Bunzam and Gasam and Rasawarana Samaya Hong. I call refuge, O Noming of the World, your fame provides the three thousand words. You are the victor, Vajadara Vidwato. I bore at the feet of Father Jigdin Sungo, continue laughing on no one but you. Compassionate one, grant your blessings, despair the darkness that surrounds my heart. Please bless me so that I can realize and liberate nature of mine. Please turn the way of the Dharma of the two workers and the combination according to disposition and likewise the mental capacity of a sentient being. Page 32, Manjushiri. <clears throat> the wisdom is brilliant like the sun, free of the clouds of two words, and perceive the various types of knowledge in the true nature. For this reason, he holds the wisdom text at his heart. He has a compassion for all beings who are suffer from the darkness of ignorance in the prison of samsara as a feather for only son. Like a thundercloud, he awakens those who are sleeping in ignorance and losing the charm of karma through the sixth branch of Haramanes' speech. He wears the wisdom sword to cut the settling of suffering and to dispel darkness of confusion. 
and the Bodhisattva form. He is a pure from beginningless time, fully accomplished in the ten levels and the perfect in the body of all knowledge. Uh, supplicate you, Majeshri, adorned by 112 sons of a Buddha to dispel the darkness of my ignorance. On Arab as another, on Arab as another, on Arab as another, on Arab as another, on Arab as another. On Arab as another, 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 on Arab as perfect youthful body, those fame of wisdom blesses, and the despair darkness of all the ignorance are posted before you and the press you majority. Good morning, everyone. Okay, we're ready to Morning, Kempo. Ready to tell you the way of a Bodhisattva. So, way of a Bodhisattva composed by Shanti Deva has uh, ten chapters. So, first three chapter is uh, um, the Bodhicitta, the excellent precious mind, where it is unborn, may it arise. Is first three chapter. Then second three chapter is uh, Bodhicitta, the excellent precious mind, where it is born, may it not decline. Then last three chapter is Bodhicitta, excellent precious mind, but it will increase higher and higher. So today we are the second three chapter, the Bodhicitta, excellent precious mind, where it is born, may it not decline. Uh, second three chapter, the main teaching is. So second three chapter, the last one, I think chapter six, we are in the chapter six. Mm. Chapter six. Then chapter six, uh, verses uh, 20. Verses 20. So chapter 6 is uh, the main teaching is patience, participation. Uh, participation has uh, uh, three sections. The first one is uh, how to abandon the, uh, you know, uh, anger. And then second is the uh, main practice of patience. And the last is uh, respect for other beings. So today, right now, we are the participation, how, how to meditate the participation. So that section, second section. Then this uh, verses 20, today I think verses 20. Correct? Okay, verses 20, we are. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, the vector as virus are those who have disregarded or suffering. One could the force of hatred and so forth. Common virus slowly only corpses. It's hard to read. <laughs> Hope everything okay. <clears throat> so, uh, here just Shanti Deva main point is uh, recognize who is the 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 
which kind of person with the courage and the valorous, so who's the victories. So the person who can uh, purify anger, person who can subdue their own anger, then that person is a valorous, victorious one. Uh, so usually, usually we think it's a victorious, valorous is a, uh, like ordinary, you know, people fighting, going to war, and who's become winner is victorious, valorous. But Shangdi Deva said that that kind is not really winner anything. That is like common valorous, slay only corpses. So that's as an example. Uh, here, the victorious warriors are those who, so who's the victorious, uh, having disregard or suffering. So who can disregard or suffering, like go through the difficulty, you know, and who can do hardship to the remove the, our emotions, especially anger, who can practice the passion, uh, then that person can one push the force of hatred and so forth. That person can subdue the enemy anger and uh, so can subdue all the, our emotions. Uh, so that person is the victorious veros. Wales. Common wearers uh, slay only corpses. Slay, right? Slay is correct? Okay. It's warriors. Warriors. Slay, correct. Warriors. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Slay only corpses. It's other like we know it's the uh, same as just we killing the fighting with the corpses. That means like nothing you winner actually is uh, not important. But we don't recognize that. So ordinary beings, th thoughts and the, the doing things and the Bodhisattva's thoughts and the, the doing action is totally different. Uh, Bodhisattva's uh, subdued their, their own anger and emotion, the fight with their own anger and subdued their own anger. In the ordinary beings fighting with just ordinary each other, you know, fighting with other ordinary beings. So then Shanti Deva, he said, people who can fight with their own emotion, that person is a victorious, warrior, warriors and who fight the ordinary enemies. And then, you know, whatever hardship difficulty is, is useless and also only slay only corpses. Nothing is really winner there. It's actually lose in this life and lose future life. So Bodhisattvas is winner in this life, also winner in the future lives. But we don't recognize that ordinary beings because due to our ignorance. We cannot see that clearly the, due to our emotion. Emotion control us. So usually we think we have anger, then we have more, you know, kind of power. And uh, we think we have a power and we can subdue the, our enemies. So the comparing to Bodhisattva, that is the ignorance. And uh, that is actually create the causes of suffering. Uh, so Shanti Deva, the main point he just said, we have to subdue our anger. So that is become, then we are win winner in this life and future life. So that is, uh, you can see clearly what ordinary people does, what the Bodhisattvas does. Then we can see who is the really winner. 
you know, bodhisattvas wake to us because they are free from suffering. Uh, ordinary peoples can be winner and the ordinary enemies, but they create the causes of suffering, going to lower realms and higher realms, endless suffering. Uh, so that's the reason we can see this uh, verses 20, you know, Bodhisattvas uh, seeing the goal, ordinary people thinking is totally different. Uh, no, verses 21. Furthermore, suffering has good qualities. Through being disheartened with it, arrogance is dispersed. Compassion arises for those in secular existence. Evil, evil is a shine and joy is found in virtue. Uh, so, see this uh, thing about this uh, is like very good statement. Uh, this suffering is a good quality and also no virtue has, also has a good quality too. So think about why no virtuous have a good quality because you can do confession, no virtuous, you can purify it. So you create like something no virtuous did, then you have used four powers, purify that no virtuous did and purify many, many eons karma too. So some no virtuous take you to the, you know, really, uh, kind of a practice dharma and the purifying karma. So if you, we, you, you know, use correctly, understanding correctly, if someone who know the practice dharma, then sufferings, no virtuous deeds also become has good qualities. Uh, see, Vectra has various, uh, sorry, the, the furthermore suffering has good qualities. Actually, ordinary people cannot accept that. So if you told ordinary people and the people who don't know the way of a Bodhisattva, who don't know how to practice this one, you say suffering has good qualities. They say no, 100% they say no, never going to accept that word. Yeah, so who, know the way of a Bodhisattva who studied this one, who contemplate the way of a Bodhisattva, you said the suffering has good qualities, then they can easily accept. Because uh, already you know, you know, so like suffering can transform this. You can, you know, the suffering is take to the path. So how can suffering has good quality? See, through being disheartened with it, arrogance is dispersed. Uh, so, the through being disheartened with it, and uh, long as uh, 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 you have a suffering, then you recognize the samsara is uh, not pleasant, you know, not like kind of a good really, and something essence beautiful in there, you know, you don't, you don't see that. Then that's the reason, so you through being disheartened with it, the Oregon is disappeared, like we have a uh, pride, arrogance, so long when we get suffering difficulties, your arrogance is also disappeared, rem, uh, like become gone. So we, we know so that the people who don't have a suffering, everything is worldly successful. They think they are, they think they think they, they are the best. You know, they have arrogance, they have a pride. They don't care about other people. So they don't think about to practice the Dharma. And uh, then there's more selfish. Uh, so no any compassion. The reason is because uh, they don't have a temporary suffering. 
they are not free from like suffering, but they just don't have a temporarily like suffering. And uh, so then, uh, who has this temporary suffering? That person less arrogant and recognize the samsara is uh, suffering. One that you can, uh, you know, get renunciation. And also compassion arise for those in single existing beings. So comes really compassion to for others. Example who get sick, then that person have compassion for who sick other people. And uh, who didn't have enough food. So they see the other people who don't have enough much food, their compassion to that person. Because the, every individual has different experience. You recognize your own experience. Then you see the other also have that kind of difficulty sufferings. You come to compassion to them. Uh, compassion arise for those secular existence. <clears throat> Evil is shunned and joy is found in virtue. So then uh, that person don't want to create no virtue as it is. The reason is because uh, they recognize the no virtue as it is result is a suffering. And uh, so then that person is uh, wanted to practice the Dharma and happy to practice the Dharma have a joyful effort. So the person has tolerant to practice the Dharma. So that's all the quality is come from and the temporary suffering. So who don't have this temporary suffering, then they don't recognize the anything in this worldly situations like other beings, uh, so it's suffering, difficult, they don't understand anything. Uh, so the main point Shanti Deva here yesterday and this today here teaching is we need stable courage and belief means like strong to fight with our emotions. Uh, so recognize suffering is uh, also have good qualities. When suffering comes, then you lose courage, you lose your, your practicing, and you lose your, what you wanted to do something like all this, uh, like good qualities lose, then that is incorrect. The main point is when suffering comes, like you must use that and practice more, uh, you know, Dharma and understanding the situation. Okay, so then we go to the verses 22nd. Uh, it's going more deeper and more uh, kind of more subtle uh, logically. Logic is go more subtle level. That's why a little bit hard to understand, go more, uh, more, more, more these verses. Uh, as I do not become angry with the great source of suffering, such as Jandis, then why be angry with animate creatures that too uh, are provoked by conditions? Uh, so this is the logic. Uh, Buddhist teaching is not only just fair to follow, you know, Buddha says, yeah, we have to follow that. The Buddha's teaching is must follow by logically, you know, and uh, make things to have to prove the, uh, the situation. So relative things have to use relative logically, have to make things and they're proving. Absolute truth, use absolute truth logic and have to approve. So this is all is a relative truth logic. And then we go to the chapter nine is um, all logic is uh, absolute truth logic. That is more deeper and more harder to understand. This one is uh, relative true logic is uh, easy being comparing to the absolute truth logic, but still a little bit hard. You know, if your mind, 
if you don't not really pay attention and uh, just uh, the, you just read this like sometimes no make sense much but then you really pay attention and listening and cultivate uh, you know think about this again cultivate meditate is make sense and the perfect meaning so that is like depending how you receiving this each shanti devas versus us performed meaning then of course like we individually has different kind of uh, problems difficulties so some verses is like directly hit you you know because our own problems some verses are like maybe yeah okay yeah but maybe not that for you but some other people has that exactly that problem so that's why is uh, dharma teaching is the same as medicine so many different kind of beings have a different kind of problem and the sufferings difficulties so that's the reason we have uh, so many different here method you know teaching like giving the shanti deva giving different suggestions for individually uh, so the due to the shanti deva his compassion his wisdom and uh, you study this way of bodhisattva then really devotion arises to the shanti deva so that's the devotion is called irreversible devotion because you study dharma and then devotion arise to the teacher uh, otherwise like you say oh that teacher is amazing is great but uh, usually you cannot really connect with that easily but you study what they did and uh, you practice that teaching then help to help you because it remove your emotion yeah the help you your release your problems and you practice and that benefit you then really arise devotion to the teachers so example like supplication tara when i read that one is arise devotion to the jitin sungo Otherwise, I just somebody say, "Oh, Jitin Sungun is amazing. He is the first Digon Kaju who is established like studied lineage. That uh, that don't give me connections, you know. And uh, just read some biography, no much connections. But I've practiced the his teaching, and then that benefit me, and then arise devotion to the teacher." so that devotion is actually is called irreversible devotion very important and the other devotion is just sometimes a blank fat is uh, no stable so you just see something all oh, great is like kind of great happy and uh, you know then you have some devotions like feeling great but some other situation or you know some other things you see or you get some other information then lose that devotions so that's the reason when you study this way of bodhisattva recognize the shanti deva's qualities the mean his qualities see his compassion he giving all this teaching like you know recognize beings are suffering he really knows what they need so he has a compassion then he has wisdom that two qualities comes together he giving this kind of teachings it's only compassion not possible this kind of teaching giving for others if only wisdom also not possible this kind of teaching for giving others so that's the reason shanti deva has a measurable compassion for other beings and uh, he has omniscient wisdom that's the reason he can give this teaching for us and include all other beings so we recognize this all cyclic existence sentient beings has this problems so this problems are not only the our human being and who follow the buddhas this 
Shanti Deva giving this instructions like for all the sentient beings, because all sentient beings has problem, these emotions. And uh, so Shanti Deva this instruction is medicine for all the mother sentient beings. So this medicine is not temporary medicine, it's a permanent healing medicine. So we can free from samsara and liberation means like no going to suffering future lives, like 100% is become free from suffering. So that kind of medicine, this teaching is. Uh, so no, Verses 22nd, Shanti Deva says, okay, as I do not become angry with the great source of suffering such as jandisi. Uh, so think about, we have this coronavirus right now. Why we no angry to coronavirus? <laughs> Shanti Deva says, see, here says, he, with great source of suffering such as jandisi, why you, you no angry with your sickness? Then why be angry with animate creatures? Why, why are you angry with the beings? Like who has a mind, who has a life? Why are you angry with them? Why are you do angry with the sickness? Because the sickness takes our life. So then, uh, what are you going to say, answer? They have uh, some answers. <laughs> What yes, about yes. being mad at the governments who decide to make bioweapons? I mean, that's all of the governments. Okay. What's that? Okay. So that's also emotion, you know, create emotion, create that one. Then we have to to angry with the emotions, not the who did that because that did ignorance. Then we, we have to, uh, to uh, compassion to the ignoring, you know, we have to, uh, we, uh, we have to, you know, angry to the, the ignorance, not the person. So they're ignorant, their emotions. Uh, then why be angry with inanimate creatures? They too are provoked by conviction. See, they're also provoked by the conditions. So just saying that you says like that also, you know, we think coronavirus is maybe people create, they also provoke by conditions. And uh, because the condition is uh, the, the, the come from the actually ignorance. And uh, long as they have ignorance, they have selfish, self. So wanted to, to the the winner and the good way and wanted to harm for others so that's the problem so shanti deva already said up there too clearly uh, so the way through us where yours are those who have this disregard or suffering one coach your force of hatred and so forth right so they don't recognize that they they take the last one slay only the corpses that's the reason that if they create, you know, these kind of things, because they do to the emotion. Uh, so the here the other verses is like more Shanti. They were talking about these uh, conditions. So you have to know what they means. They too are provoked by conditions because the different circumstances and the condition comes. Then this, uh, you know, uh, anger is arise. Our anger is arise. And uh, our uh, emotions arise, condition comes. So same thing, like people does all the wrong things, mistakes, the actually all is followed by the, the conditions. They're not really one thing in the permanently there to creating something. Uh, so now we go to the verses uh, 23rd. Uh, Although they are not wishful, those sickness arise. 
And likewise, although they are not wished for, this disturbing conception forcibly arises. See, uh, although they are not wished for, so we don't wish for this, this uh, sickness arise, but conviction comes, the sickness arise due to the convictions or due to the karma then sickness arise. So then we kind of angry with the sickness because we no one angry with the sickness. Uh, and the likewise, same like that, although they are not wished for, so those disturbing conception feasibly arise. Then uh, even we don't want, we don't wish, but no choice, emotion is arise. Because due to the ignorance, all beings have ignorance, that's why emotions arise. Also the condition comes, emotion arise. So the main point the Shanti Deva said, we cannot really angry with the enemy. The person is controlled by emotion. Emotion is come from conditions. So same is the sickness. We don't angry with the sickness because we recognize that the sickness is like come from the, the, the conditions and uh, karma. So like that same thing, you know, we cannot angry with the enemy because if like we, if we're going, we're really going to angry, we have to angry with the anger, not the person. Uh, so then more, more logic. Uh, so more logic is uh, we think, oh, mm, this enemy uh, has a mind. They, what, they have intention to want to harm for others. But uh, sickness, they didn't have intention to harm others. So that's the difference is, you know, we can think that, right? That's why I wanted to angry with our, my enemy because the enemy has intention, sickness didn't have intention going to harm me. So I don't have to angry with the sickness. I have to angry with the enemy because that person has a mind and that person has intention. So if you think that, then that's Shanti Deva giving the answer is this verses 20, uh, 24. Or uh, without thinking, I shall be angry. See, we don't think it like I wanted to angry. No one think that I want angry, right? Without thinking, I shall be angry. Uh, people become angry with no resistance, no. Uh, so the people say they're angry and because uh, they don't think about, oh, I'm, I'm going to angry. The conviction comes, they are angry. Angry with no resistance. Uh, just uh, angry is like become condition comes, arise naturally there. They don't think, thinking first, oh, I'm going to angry, right? Do you think that way or no? I don't think so. No one will think actually, ah, ah, I'm going to create angry. So angry is just uh, this all condition comes. We don't recognize where it arise, you know, arise, right? So no choice. Uh, then, and without thinking, I shall produce myself. Uh, without thinking, I shall produce myself this anger. Likewise, anger itself is produced. Then uh, same thing like that, this anger also uh, arise. Likewise, anger itself is produced. Mm. 
So main point here, the first two sentences, I don't know the English exactly, the Tibetan first two sentences. Uh, the people usually don't think I'm going to create anger, just anger is arise. The anger also think, oh, the, this person produce me. Anger also don't think that, or oh, this object produce me, you know. But this uh, condition comes, anger is arise. I shall produce myself, likewise anger itself is produced. Uh, verses 25, all mistakes that are and all the various kinds of evil arise through the force of conditions that did not govern themselves. All these uh, mistakes that are means all the problems like emotions are and all the various kinds of evil Negative, negative deeds, where they are come from. So arise through the force of conditions. They all come from force of conditions. Uh, when they arise, they do not govern themselves. Then we don't have a power, we don't have a choice. So this 20, verses 25 is uh, no creator God. See, you can see clearly there are no creator God. Who created this object? Always come from the conditions. So when condition arise, everything is arising. You know, all the good quality, good things also arise. Negative also arise. The condition comes together. So condition is not there, then negative also cannot arise. Good quality also cannot arise. That is dependent or is a condition, not the creator God, not something in the permanently inherently source there. So condition means like so many, you know, uh, uh, object, the cause and the conditions, so many things in there. So example, like we grow the, the vegetable, so many conditions needed there. So without the conditions, cannot grow the vegetable. We need rain, soya, seeds, warm weather and many things in there, you know, have to come together to grow the vegetable. The no anything is a permanent source there. So same thing like that, where is this our anger come from? Anger is come from these conditions. All these condition comes together, then anger is arise. When anger comes, we don't have a power, we cannot control ourselves. Anger control us. So where is this all emotions come from? All emotions come from conditions. Then this emotion arise, we don't have a power, we cannot control ourselves because emotion control us. So that means like God not control us, no creator. So that is the, the logically, you know, we, it, proving, we understand it clearly. Uh, arise through the force of conditions. They do not govern themselves. Then we don't have a power. So all these uh, negative thoughts also come from the conditions through the force of conditions. It's a very good statement. If you learn this one more, go deeper, and you understanding interdependent. Then you know the interdependent, you know the emptiness meaning, what means emptiness. So emptiness means no nothingness. Emptiness means like no permanent inherently source there. 
is everything is dependent. Everything is followed by the conditions. So you accept that this all is arise through the force of conditions. There are no creator gods there. No one control us. So who control means like not permanently someone control us. Okay, so that is the verses 25. Then we go to verses 26. Uh, this condition that example together have no intention to produce anything. And neither does their product have the intention to be produced. Okay, so think about this one, like company, uh, this uh, condition that example together have no intention to produce anything. Think about all this phone, iPhone is inside have so many different kind object inside there, right? This object is never thinking about. You know, the condition, this inside the different condition that example all comes together have no intention to produce anything. They don't have any intention going to produce this iPhone. And there has so many things inside there, right? You think so? If you take down, it's like, it's part of particles. Each one is like, see, so many countries evolved. So many people evolved to create this one, each part of particles. So this all part of particles that don't have intention to going to produce anything like this. Then, and there does their product have their intention to produce. Then product this iPhone also think, oh, this all this part of particles produce me. They don't, iPhone didn't think that, you know. So think about the house. When we build the house, so many part of particles, this part of particles, each part of particles, they don't think about I'm going to create a house. Yeah, the house, the become ho ho house, also don't thinking about all oh, this part of particles create me. House also don't think that. So then why is like that, you know, uh, having the intention to be produced. They don't have intention, anything like that, yeah? Uh, so this is the answer for the, the last, like we, when I share the verses 24 is uh, beginning there, actually main point is Shanti Deva said, the, you know, enemy has a mind, there has intention, sickness, no intention. So that's why we're going to anger with the enemy because they have an intention to go into harm me. Sickness didn't have intentions. The Shanti Deva, the main point is actually anger, no intentions. It's all this enemy also no intentions, but the all condition comes together. Then, uh, you know, uh, arise through force of conditions that they do not govern themselves. So all this condition comes together, then it's anger arise and harm for others too. That's why we, we really cannot angry with the, our enemies. Enemy really don't have a like intention wanted to create anger, you know. This all the condition comes, the anger arise. Uh, so now we go to the verses 27. That which is assert as primal substance, and that which is imported as a self. Since the unproduced do not arise after having. Purposefully thought, I shall arise in order to cause harm. Uh, so, 
Then some other religions, then they're except like azert as a primal substances. So uh, the different kind of religions. This uh, religion is uh, in the chapter nine, then Shantideva, the debating laws for, for this religion. That says like everything is created by this primal substance. Uh, so this primal substance is a permanent. He created everything. This, this primal substance create, create everything. So Shanti Deva said, no, that, that, can, that cannot create. That which is exerted as primal substance uh, and that which is imported as a self. Then some says like self, permanent self. They create everything. So another religion says a permanent self create everything. So Shanti Deva just main point is he debating with the other, the, the known Buddhist different ancient time religions. They accept the creator something, you know, the creator, not the gods, the creator like primal substance and the creator self. Uh, they also said self is not mind, not, not consciousness. Self is, they said, is the physical form. So this section is like, uh, me, I mean, that this religion is in the more, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, you know, if you wanted to know more details in the, in the chapter nine has. So since they are unproduced, do not arise after having, uh, purposefully thought, I shall arise in order to cause, cause harm. Uh, so this, like, you know, primal substance and uh, the permanent self, they also, Shanti Deva said, no create. They don't create these things. They are, they are unproduced. They didn't produce. Since they are unproduced, did not arise after having purposefully thought. Uh, because they cannot create. They don't have a thinking to create, that cannot create, the reason is that they are permanent. Permanent means useless. Uh, permanent cannot create any object. Uh, I shall rise in order to cause a harm. They don't think they're going to create the, the you know, object. Uh, So it, the, the more in information, you know, it goes together, 27 and 28. As 29, they all go together, actually following. Uh, if they are unproduced and non-existent, then whatever which they have to produce, harm will also not exist. Since the self would permanently apprehend its objects, it follows that it would never cease to do so. Uh, see, if they are unproduced and non exist, the first we primal substance and the permanent self, they are no exist. They are no exist, they're also cannot produce anything because if they are unproduced, they, they didn't up produce anything, they are unproduced. The reason is they are no exist, no exist. Self-permanent is no exist. Primal substance is also no exist. Uh, then, then what Whatever which they have to produce, harm will also not exist. If they want to produce something, object, the object also not exist. First, they say subject like uh, self and the primal substance not exist. Then they're going to like 
tangible to something, object also no exist. Right? The same is like subject is no exist, then object also no exist. Because of subject object is dependent to each other, related to each other. If right is no exist, the left also cannot exist. Right and the life is like dependent. And uh, then father and the son is dependent. So chicken and the egg is dependent, right? That's always dependent. Like if no other one, and you cannot have other. So first, like this, uh, the creator is no exist. Then creator no exist. How can you have cre the created things? So fire is no exist. How can you have smoke? So like that, you know the the first this uh, creator primer substance and. Uh, imported as a self, they are no exist. Then the produce things also no exist. Hunger also not exist. Since the self world permanently apprehend is object. Uh, so it follows that it would ever ceases to do so. Then uh, this self also permanent uh, when it's a permanent, they cannot create object. Upper hand is object. It follows that is world never ceases to do so. Then they don't have like, uh, you know, um, a bird. Like we have like example, like the object has like uh, ceases and then also object is a, uh, is, uh, is like, gone, you know, uh, finished. But this permanent is the first never uh, born, they never ceases, never gone, never die. So like that kind, you know, like first they are permanent, then permanent, not possible to create object, means that they cannot change. Change means like first, like you, you going to create something, you have to change. If no change, then cannot create the things, object. If you're going to have like one hour, you need like 60 minutes. So 60 minutes, like first minutes is have to gone, then have to born second minutes. Second minute is have to gone and they have to create like third one has born again. So then go up to the 60 minutes as we call one hour. But uh, the first minute is never gone. How can be created second minutes? You know, no possible arise second minutes. Then no possible third, no poss possible fourth, like cannot have one hour the first the minutes is always there because it's a permanent like then you just post like that you cannot change you go more further so create means like you have to change if something is a the permanent they cannot create any object so that's why you cannot following no not possible to following go creating you know See, river is like following. That's why it's changing. But river is not following. Then river is like stuck. Then it's uh, cannot say river is following, right? It's stuck there. If you watch the movie, if movie is a pause, you cannot watch the movie. So what watch the movie means like change, you know? You cannot post. So that's the kind of, you know, like Shanti, they was using the logically, they cannot produce anything because you accept it as permanent. Permanent is useless. Uh, then go to verses 29. Uh, furthermore, if the self were permanent, it would clearly be devoid of action. See, if the no possible action is that is permanent, just like space. 
So even if it meet with other conditions, how could its unchanging nature be affected? So uh, furthermore, if service were permanent, service you accept like permanent, then this self it would clearly be devoid of action. No any actions, cannot do actions. If you self has action, self is cannot be permanent. If self is permanent, no action, then just like space, space is empty, you know, nothing. So, uh, then the, this religion except permanent self is the same as the space, no exist. Uh, so even if it meet with other conditions, so they say, yeah, self is permanent, but uh, self is go with the conditions, then create object. But Shanti Deva says, self is cannot go with ob uh, the object conditions. Self cannot go with the conditions. The reason is self is permanent, self is cannot change. If self is can follow with the conditions, then self is so not follow the conditions, follow the condition, then self is changing. Self is cannot be permanent. If self is permanent, then cannot go with conditions. So even if it meet with other conditions, how could its unchanging nature self permanent be affected? So self cannot do anything. Even be with the conditions, self is must be always the same. Be with the condition, without the condition, self must be always the same because it's a permanent. Yeah, condition cannot any affected to the self. Uh, verses 30, even if when act upon by other conditions, it remains as before, then what could action to do it, do to it? Thus, if I say that this condition acts upon a permanent self, how could the two evil be casually related? It's very good, actually, logic, you know. If you really understand it, this makes it like become different than Buddhist other religion. This is talking about the view. Mm. So, even if when act happen by other condition, it remain as before. Uh, so the condition comes with uh, condition comes with uh, this self. Then condition create object. Uh, so self is like that time is the same thing, you know, before no conditions come before it's still same. Then, then what could actions to do it? Then what self doing anything there? You just say like self is creator, but self is actually nothing there. He's not doing anything, condition doing things, right? But self is like same as before he, with, without conditions. They're always the same thing. Not doing anything there. Self not doing, doing any job there. So same remain as before. Then what could action to do, do to it? What are he doing? He asked caution, you know. Shanti Deva asked caution, what self doing? Self is not doing anything. Condition drawing, right? Uh, thus, if as I say that this condition acts upon a permanent self, uh, so how could the two evil be casually related? Then the conditions, self, Shanti Deva say, how can they have related two together? Because the Condition is doing things, create things. Self is not changing permanently. And uh, even they have conditions, no conditions, self is always the same. Self is like nothing doing. 
no drawing anything, no create anything. Uh, so that's why here, uh, these two is what they related to each other, nothing related. See, father and the son has related. And uh, right and left has related. So what this related, condition and permanent self is what they related to each other, nothing any related to each other. Self is actually, you just saying there has a self, but actually self is nothing exists. The same is a space. You know, Shanti Deva said, just don't have to say anything about the self. Just say condition create things. You don't have to say permanent, just interdependent. You know, then it's easy, but you saying permanent, self is creating, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, actually, that's it. what are you talking about? There are no exist. What are you talking about? <laughs> so then, this logic is thinking about right now. Have also many different kind of religions. You think use this logic. This all other religions no make sense. No make sense, okay? Because they're accepting permanent gods, creator gods. And someone is control us. So not dependent, not independent there, you know, everything is like controlled. Means then that is incorrect, the main point is incorrect. Uh, verses 31. Uh, hence, everything is governed by other factors, which in turn are governed by others. And in this way, nothing governed itself. Having understood this, I should not become angry with phenomena that are like apparitions. So, you can use that logic and uh, you know, go to more deeper thinking, then you really understanding, hence everything is governed by other factors, means like all is like conditions comes together is controlled. Everything is interdependent, other factors. Comes all these different conditions together, factors, which in turn are governed by others. Then, then we don't have our power because uh, all this conviction comes together, emotion arise, emotion control us, then we don't have a choice, we don't have a power. Yeah? So then you go to investigate where which this conviction has power, go to more subtle level, nothing permanent inherent resource there. But all this conviction interdependently comes together, has power. You know, all this conditions comes, emotion arise, emotion control us. We don't have a power. Uh, so, which in turn are governed by others. Then power is like, hold by the conditions, emotions. And in this way, nothing governs itself. See, self permanent, no exist actually, there's nothing power there. Because the power is or is conditions. Condition comes together, then they have power and control us. Then why are you talking about uh, Self has power. You know, permanent has power. God have power. It's there, he said, Shanti Deva said, they don't have power because they are no exist. Main point is they no exist. They are same as a space. And in this way, nothing governs itself. Having understood this, if you really understand this, I should not become angry with phenomena that are like 
apparitions, then you cannot really angry to any specific object because everything is like just, you know, uh, same is like movie shows. You know, it's same as dreaming and the delusions. So nothing is really inherently exist there. Uh, if you recognize that, then you cannot have angry to like specific one object there. You know, or it's like this conduction factors comes together, have a power. And then this conduction factor is controlled to us. But if you really look to, you know, investigate, nothing is in permanently, inherently power in the one thing, essence there, nothing there. It's all, it's like, like apparition means like it's a dreaming, you know, no exist anything permanently. Uh, so then, uh, the debating here, the third verses 32nd is debating. If everything is un unreal, like in apparition, then who is there to restrain what anger? So that is the question and the debating. Shanti Deva said everything is apparitions, like apparitions. So then, okay, everything is like apparitions. Then uh, why you try to restrain your anger? You know, that's a question. Uh, surely in this case, restraint would be inappropriate. It would not be inappropriate because conventionally, I must maintain that independence upon restraining anger, the stem of suffering is ser served. Mm. So, long answer. It's, it's hard to explain, but I can understand very clearly Tibetan English is a little harder for me, but I know you understand clearly. Uh, so, the the full ass caution or debating that person says, like if everything is just like apparitions and the same is dreaming and the same is delusions, then why you try to stop, you know, anger? There is, a, there is here, there to restrain what anger? Why we have to do restrain what anger? Anger also same as dreaming. So, Actually, if you understanding emptiness, that is correct. We don't have to restrain that anger. Anger is no exist, absolutely. But we are in the relative truth. So long as anger arises, then we are suffering. You know, anger control us, ang anger torture us, anger put us into the lower realms. So that's the reason Mm. Surely, in this case, restraint would be inappropriate. Uh, it would not be inappropriate because conventionally, I must maintain means like relatively, we have to maintain our happiness. Relatively, we don't want to suffering ourselves. Uh, so, this all the suffering is uh, come from emotions. That's the reason we wanted to restrain our emotion. We wanted to, uh, you know, suffering is a savage. Savage means like, I think it's gone, right? Exhaust. We wanted to exhaust our suffering. So that's why I must maintain because our participation, we have to maintain our participation that in depending upon restraining anger, participation, restraining anger. Uh, the, the anger, the emotion, the stream of suffering. So, uh, 
So stream of suffering continually, uninterruptedly create a suffering emotion. So we practice passion and we can, you know, uh, this, uh, the stream of suffering is a severed, severed. Severed means like cut, right? Okay, gone. We want to go on the suffering. So we don't want that suffering. That's why we, we have to practice patience. The Sangdi Deva answer is, so who debating the person is absolutely okay. Yes, we can actually, anger is no exist because we don't have to restrain like that. It's the same or it's like apparition, like apparition if you really know the view, but we are in the relative conditions. If we don't do the, you know, resting our own anger, anger can put us in the lower realms, anger torture us, anger create suffering us. So that so we are in the relative level. So that's the reason we have to practice patience and anger the stream of suffering is severed. That is the answer. And then we go to the verses 30, 33. Uh, so when seeing an enemy or even a friend, committing an appropriate action by thinking that such things arise from conditions. I shall remain in a happy frame of mind. Mm. So when seeing, we seeing an enemy or even a friend, whatever we see, like your friend, relatives, or our enemy, he treated ones, uh, commi committing in improper action. So if it's someone doing create causes of suffering, the action, no virtuous action, then by thinking, we have to think, we have to cultivate. Uh, so, uh, by thinking that such things arise from con uh, conditions. So this all the, you know, negative deeds or positive quality or is come from the conditions, thinking that such things arise from conditions. We have to recognize everything is arise from conditions. I shall remain in a happy frame of mind. So we are, have to stay, our mind is peaceful and uh, you know joy because uh, uh, your relatives friends can uh, make you something create happy you know they create you good conditions enemies hatred ones like create you something unhappy feeling but just actually the main point shanti there was everything is take into the uh, you know, like what it called the uh, economy practice, economy practice, you know, or it comes from the contradictions. Don't have to attach to relatives, friends, no hatred to the enemies because all is there are followed by contradictions. You know, recognize all is contradictions and then just maintain your happiness, don't lose your, your practice, passion. Uh, so see like our relatives, friends also can create causes of our anger. He treated ones also can create anger, but both are actually is conditions. So we have to recognize all is conditions. We have to practice our stay, mind is you know, like uh, just uh, remind, remain and stay in the no bias. Uh, you know, is uh, the what just I said. The words is uh, I forget that one. 
Equanimity. Equanimity. Yes, you recognize. Economity. We have to stay in the economity. Thank you. Mm, then verse 34. Uh, if things were brought into being by choice, choice, then since no one wished to suffer, suffering would not, not occur to any embodied creature. Embodied creature. Uh, so the if things were brought into being by choice, um, so everything, so you, you know, have a, individually have a choice. Uh, if things were brought into being by choice, we can choice then since no one wished to suffer, no one wanted to suffering. So our enemies, friends, loved ones, no one want to suffer. All the creatures, sentient beings, no one want to suffering. Uh, we're brought into being by choice. If we have a, what, what we want, we have a choice. No one want suffering. So that's what we always say like all mother sentient beings want happiness. All mother sentient beings, no one want suffering. Uh, suffering would not occur. Then um, suffering also then cannot be have any anyone can have a suffering. Uh, suffering would not occur to any embodied creatures. No one gets suffering. If the our wish wanting, you know, sentient beings, the Reality, everyone, no one, no one being suffering. So the main point is here, we have to recognize like all these sentient beings want happiness, no one wants suffering. So no one wanted to actually create suffering for others, reality, but no choice because emotion, Okay, reality, nature, mind is always said like human sentient beings, nature, the mind is lowing, peace. No one want to suffer, no one want to create suffering. Then we say, why is people create suffering each other? Because emotions, contractions, you know? That's why create suffering. Uh, so when you read these verses, you really know all the beings' nature. So everyone beings have love. Nature is peace. See, we see the like tigers, like the kind of like anger animals, tigers. They love their kids. They're taking care of their babies because that means that they have love. But they see others, they're going to, <laughs> to hunt, hunt other animals, right? They're going to care other animals. The reason is because emotions. So, so emotion control. Uh, so naturally, all beings have a peace and have, like, you know, naturally love, but emotion is controlled. Uh, if you recognize that, then also, like, we, you know, arise like compassion to other beings. And uh, we recognize all oh, these beings actually in reality, naturally, is love, but due to emotion controlled, create all these causes of suffering, harming each other, you know. We recognize that. And uh, that's also like arise love to others and arise wisdom. You know, arise because we think about these words and arise wisdom. 
uh, our mind to understanding the situation, the being's situation. Mm. Then uh, verses 35, mm. through not being careful, people even harm themselves with tongues and other things. And for the sake of obtaining warming and the like, they become obsessed and deprive, deprive themselves of food. Mm. So then all these beings naturally, you know, uh, hap happy or means like peace. So no one wanted to create a suffering. Then why these beings create a suffering? Because due to emotion, true, not being careful. We we controlled by emotion. We don't care for. We don't recognize the, our reality. People even harm themselves. See, they they harming themselves. Uh, mm, uh, serves themselves with thumbs and other things. So the many different things harming our own self. So this is just example with the thumbs. Uh, so we we create ourselves, you know, torture ourselves, create suffering ourselves. Pe people taking the drugs, you know, and uh, so many. Uh, negative things using themselves they know that there is no great but they're using themselves and uh, then this human beings you see we we know so warping is no great everyone knows warping is the is is wallings object but no one like the wallings no one like that but everyone create all this government factories people create the warpings, right? So we recognize that all this samsara is like, see, is, is ignorant. So we, another hand with government say, you cannot do this, you cannot use that. Another hand, the government create everything. You know, if you don't create these things, then you don't have. So first you create, because it's a desire and selfish, then you make the law and the rules like say, you cannot use this. If you use this, you're going to jail. That's why so many people are in the jail. Who created that? People go to jail because of this, we created actually, government created that because the government created things. Factory companies, the government give opportunity to do that, right? Government give permission to do that, create that things. Then create that, people use that, then harm each other. And then they say, oh, you break the law and the rules, so they put in the jail. So that's, we're doing this, you know, negative things like, uh, so we say bad, but we doing that create we doing we creating that thing, object. So that's why it's people even harm themselves with thumbs and other things. Uh, and for the sake of obtaining one, uh, women and the like, they become obsessed and deprive themselves of food. So then this, uh, you know, is example. Uh, women is just example. It's like people also fighting for the reason and they die each other. Then so many objects is like that. So many things by fighting with the land, each other land, property and the possessions. Uh, so power and so many things. Just human being is 100% totally controlled by emotions, fighting all these things, object. Uh, that's why create suffering. They become obsessed and deprive themselves of food. Uh, so then they create this suffering, each, you know, our own. 
So they create our own suffering, then of course they create suffering for others. There's no caution. Due to the ignorance, we create our own suffering. Then no, it is possible to create suffering for others. Because we create our own sufferings, then why not we create uh, suffering for others? It's because everyone is like controlled by emotion. We are all controlled by emotions. So when you read these verses, like see 34, 35, you really recognize how these world beings are crazy. You know, uh, how these world beings are influenced by emotions, like controlled by emotions. We can see that, recognize easily. Actually, reality, our nature is peace and love. But why we not stay in the nature that way? Because we don't have a choice. Emotion, condition control us. We create all these causes of suffering. Uh, now we go to verses 36. Then people endless suffering, they create endless suffering. And, the, and there are some who injure themselves through the unmerious um, deeds of hang, hanging themselves, leaping from clubs, eating poison and unhealthy foods. Uh, so we are controlled by emotion, then therefore, and there are some who injure themselves. So because injure themselves, ourselves, this does all these worldly people, we can see ignoring the, themselves doing this problem, create ourselves through the unmerited Meritory us deeds, we create so much negative things. Uh, so, uh, through the unmeritory us deeds, and also hanging themselves. Uh, so, some is like just hanging themselves, die themselves, they shoot themselves, you know, the society, so many different ways themselves. Uh, leaping from clubs, then some is jumping the you know bridges and the buildings and the clubs because due to the emotion and anger, they cannot control the anger themselves. They cannot control emotion, so that's why we're doing these things. Uh, eating poisons and unhealthy food, so that's we can see these things like right now in the world, so many people doing these things. Clearly we know. See, Shanti Deva, he's seeing this problem is like clearly all this world sentient beings problems. Uh, we also recognize these problems, but we very hard to put in the, you know, kind of like put in the words to like this beautiful way to uh, teaching you know, information giving for others. It's not easy to do that because due to our ignorance. Uh, Shanti Deva, he has wisdom. So he knows all these beings. Uh, first, the reality, and then the, where is this, why they create suffering, which kind they create suffering. You know, they does their own suffering like this. Then of course, like create suffering for others, no choice. Verses 37, uh, if when under the influence of disturbing conceptions, people will even care their treasure selves, selves, how can they be expected not to cause harm to the bodies of other living beings? So we recognize we are all these beings controlled by emotions. Then we care ourselves, we create uh, suffering ourselves. We're doing that ourselves, then no cautions. Uh, 
uh, how can they be expected not to cause harm for others to the body of other living beings? So the no cautions. Someone going to harm themselves, they're going to harm others easily because emotion controlled. So then emotions, where is the arise, ignorance and the self. Self, the creator, like harming for others. The self actually more protection themselves, going to harm for others. But due to the anger control, they're going to harm themselves. Then no questions are going to harm for others. See, first ignorance, and then we have self. Self actually protected themselves and harming for others. But the self plus anger comes, then they're also harming themselves. Then of course, no questions of Harming, no harming for others. So going to harm for other beings too, to the body of other living beings. Uh, verses 38, even if I cannot develop compassion for all such people who through the eraser of disturbing conceptions sit out to try and care me and so forth, the last thing I should do is to become angry with them. Mm. So, even if I cannot develop compassion for all such people who through the eraser of disturbing conceptions, uh, so, the if we cannot uh, create a compassion for others, compassion for all such these people uh, who through the arise of disturbing due to the, our emotion. Uh, so due to the, our emotion, we cannot really compassion to others. At least we have to stop harming for others. So the reason is here is a sit ought to try and care me and so forth. The emotion control us. We this we try to care ourselves like see also other beings who is controlled by anger. They try to their themselves themselves. See ought to try and care me and so forth. The last thing I should do is to become angry with them. Mm. So, so then why we angry to this for these kind of beings? Uh, even we cannot come to compassion to the, these people. The reason is because controlled by emotion. Uh, so, then uh, this, uh, you know, uh, people are going to create suffering ours themselves and going to killing themselves. Then if we even no compassion to them, but at least we know angry become to them, become angry with them. It's actually, it's Tibetans, uh, you cannot angry to them. But English is, I don't see like that clearly. It's say like that or no? We cannot angry to them, yeah? Okay. So we cannot angry to these people. Even you cannot compassion to them. The reason is uh, they're controlled by emotion. They're going to suicide themselves. They're going to themselves. So why are we going to angry to them? Because even you don't have a compassion to them. That makes sense or no? So I understand like that way, it's that verses, I don't know, you understand clearly. Okay, thank you. So every time one say, okay. So then we go to the next one. 
verses 39 even if it were the nature of the charges to cause harm to other beings it would still be incorrect to be angry with them for this would be like uh, be regarding fire for having the nature to burn uh, so we see you know the this even if even if it were the nature of the charges we recognize all the charges charges the the immature beings the people who control by emotions nature uh, over the charges means like this is not talking about the absolute truth nature this is like emotional nature you know we uh, we are ordinary nature ordinary beings nature charges nature where well, nature of the charges mm. the cause harm to others so this uh, charges nature is a causes a harm to other beings that is like just uh, easily arise uh, benefit for others is like we have to put effort and humming for other is like just naturally arise because it's a, this is the charge nature see nature of the charge uh, we are controlled by emotions so the yesterday I shared with you lots of this. See, bodhisattvas, the nature is benefit for others. So we can say, uh, you know, the even if the were the nature of the bodhisattvas, the cause benefit for other beings. You know, the opposite way, just easily. And the charges nature is uh, coming for other beings. Then it would still be incorrect to be angry with them. We cannot angry with these charges beings. So they're going to they harm themselves. They're going to create themselves suffering. They're going to naturally harming for create the causes of for other beings. Why you why are you angry with them? Even you don't have a compassion for them. Why are you angry with them? You know. So Shangde Deva really give us wisdom. You know, Shangde Deva told us, wake up. We have to wake up our mind. Usually we angry with them. Because we also control by emotion, we no choice. And we angry with them. Shangde Deva said, if you study way of a Bodhisattva, you want to become Bodhisattva, wake up. Don't angry with them. These beings, nature like that, why are you angry with them, you know? So someone taking the drugs, why are you angry with them? Because they're due to the emotions. They're just, even you don't have a compassion for them, why are you angry with them, right? Someone is sick. So why are you angry with them if you don't have a compassion for them? Someone is homeless. Why are you angry with them? Even you don't have a compassion because they're, they're due to their, their, their emotions. You know, they're, they're controlled by so many these uh, conditions. We already talked, you know, the power is a conviction hold. The, all the conviction control them. Why are you angry with them without the compassion? If you have angry, then you are more worse than this, you know, childish beings. So Shanti Deva said, we have to wake up, you cultivate love and compassion to them. Even you don't have a, a you know, a love and compassion, don't angry with them. For this would be like, be big raging fire for having the nature to burn. See, fire nature is a burn. So if fire is there, you touch the you, you, fire, you say, yeah, fire burn me. You're going to angry with the fire. It's, you are crazy, right? The fire nature is burning. Why you touch them? So Shanti Deva said, this is 
childish beings, it's nature is harming for other beings. Why are you angry with them? <laughs> make sense or no? It really makes sense, right? Because we usually, we angry with them. It's we are crazy. We don't recognize we are crazy, you know? So these beings like, like that nature, if you touch the fire, then you burn yourself. You recognize fire going to burn. Fire is burning. You touch that, you get burned. Then you angry, complain with the fire. Who is crazy? See, fire is not crazy. We are crazy, right? Who does it like that? That is crazy. So Shanti Deva said, this childish beings actually humming for other beings. There's no caution. They're humming themselves. You cannot angry with them, even you don't have a compassion for them. Same is this fire is burning. So the if you touch the fire, it burns you, and you cannot anger and complain with fire. Uh, so now we go to the verses 40. <clears throat> And even if the fourth were temporary, in the who are by nature reliable, it would still be incorrect to be angry. For this would be like big raging space for allowing smoke to arise in it. Uh, so it's the uh, same, same kind of same logic uh, so, and even if the four were temporary, so the problems, you know, this uh, negative anger, this all is temporary. And even if the four were temporary means our enemies who are going to harm us, who are going to create us like unhappy feeling, that's all is temporary. In they who are by nature reliable. Uh, so that's also there just a nature, kind of nature means this nature also not the reality, absolute truth the nature, it's a temporary nature. So same is like here is the, the verses 39, we talk about the nature of the childish, you know, that's also nature of temporary. So temporary natures. See, thunder club comes, thunderstorm comes, that is temporary nature. Hurricane comes, temporary nature. The arise comes, you know, they're all temporary. The, in there who are by nature rel reliable, uh, it would still be incorrect to be angry. We cannot angry with the temporary, this, uh, you know, problems who create temporary suffering for us. We cannot angry with them. If you angry with them, Shanti Deva say we we are childish. You know we also same with childish, and uh, the not waking up people. We are cannot be bodhisattva. So for this would be like big raging space for longing small to arise in it. Then we create like see uh, small small in the go in the space, then you say you angry space. Why you you allow space in the you know small. So so that kind of you know anger is incorrect. Uh, it's a small is go to in the space. That's you cannot angry space. So you say why you allow the small is allowed to go into the space because the space is like they don't reject the they don't reject the small you know these childish beings they don't reject the they don't reject the emotion okay they don't reject the emotions then you are like angry the space it's, we are crazy, right? We recognize, oh, why you allow small is in the space? Then you angry space is incorrect. The same like that. We get temporary problems, temporary suffering who create us. 
we angry that person, that that is the same as like you angry with the space. You know, this condition comes as small as a rise. So you have to stop the conditions. You cannot angry with the space. So we, this uh, temporary problem, whatever comes, we have to stop the cause. We cannot stop the result. And we cannot angry the, the person who create this uh, temporary problem for us. Because we recognize that person is, that person is controlled by emotion. And our, like emotions come from conditions. So if we have a, a king angry, we have to angry to the conditions. The condition create emotion. Emotion control the person. Person create the the the, the harming for us. So so always go back to to like you know, its source is a condition. So we cannot only condition. We don't recognize that. So if you angry with a person is the same as angry with the space. That's also the logic. So then go to verses 41, uh, 51. Uh, if I become angry with the yarder, although I'm actually harmed by this, his stake, then since he too is a secondary, being in turn incited by threatened, hatred, hatred. I should really be angry with his hatred. Hmm. Well, Kempo, I think this word yielder is maybe supposed to be wielder. I'm not sure though. Weather means? It's somebody who holds the stick, he wields a stick and mm. uses it. Mm. I don't understand yielder. So I was thinking maybe it was supposed to be wielder. Thank you, right, Sandra. Mm. Okay, so what do you say the yadder is? The yadder is? Uh, wielder. Wielder, I see what. Person who wields a stick. Mm. If you yield, you give something up. If you wield, you hold it. So you're not giving anything up. You're holding a stick. Mm. So I don't know the correct words. So you, you make decision, okay? Just I'll give you the <laughs> uh, information. So then you have to make decision which words is correct. Uh, also, see, you already understand. Actually, without, uh, without explaining, right? You already understand. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Sandra. Actually, this word is also very popular, right? We hear many times this one. Do you? I think you can hear many times like other teachings in use this court too. Just you. <laughs> so, see, if uh, I become angry with yaders or yaders, wooders, and who hold the stake, right? This is it's like someone going to hit your stick, yeah? And someone who going to sh shoot the warping, like who holding the warping. Uh, although I'm actually harmed by his stick. So really we get harmed by the person or really harmed by the person's warping. The person carry you or gun carry you, think about it. We, People killing, right, everywhere. The person, the killing or gun killing. <laughs> if the person is a king, king killer, but then you don't have to create any warpings. See, that is also logic, you know, logic is we have to first we think about more logically. And uh, so we usually we don't think clearly. That's why we angry with the person. But Chanti Deva just waking up us. If we don't wake up, then of course like person. You don't think about this warpings, you know, guns. So if we wake up, then we can, we think, oh yeah, not only the person, you know, the warping also problem. 
So usually we talk about all this killer's problem, but it's warping is a problem too. You know, gun's problem. Gun is a big problem in our country here, yeah? Gun is a big problem. Uh, so although I'm actually harmed by his stake and the warping hit us because of their, their hit and that's why we pain. Then since he too is a secondary being in time inside the by hatred. Then secondary, this uh, enemy, the person also is uh, how to call the uh, words is uh, anything, right? Anything. Anything is correct, anything. Uh, so because the emotion torture the person, emotion control the person. So uh, he, the person is like controlled by emotion, anger controlled. The person is uh, angers anything. Uh, so then if you really wanted to angry, I should really be angry with his hatred. Uh, so being in time incited by hatred, you see, anger controlled this enemy. The anger tortured this enemy, our enemies, anger tortured the person. If you really wanted to angry, I should really be angry with his hatred or we have to hatred to the person's anger, not the person. The, we are, we both are victim. Victim is correct, we both are victim with anger's victim. Anger's anything or victim. Because uh, our enemy who going to harm for us, the person is uh, the person's anger's victim. We also the anger's victim. So if we really wanted to hatred something, and we have to hatred to the person's anger, not the person. And then who really make pain for us, the warping make get the, you know, suffering us. We also angry to the warping and the stake, not the person. So these words also give you really good, you know, waking up, get, uh, you can get, you know, the, your uh, clairvoyant wisdom arise. Usually we not thinking about anything. We just directly angry the person. So if you use this word, think about this, cultivate these words, and that you're not really angry to the person, comes compassion to the person because that you recognize who harm us, the person also victim their own emotion. You know, who has emotions, they torture themselves, they create suffering themselves, then due to that, they harm for others too. We both are victim their anger. So arise compassion. First, you need wisdom because you understanding and uh, listening this teaching and cultivate, like contemplate, meditate means like you know using and intellectually meditating, and then that's arise wisdom. And then long as arise wisdom comes compassion to our hatred ones. So then you comes compassion who harming for other beings. So you really see that person is controlled by emotion and comes compassion. That person is created causes of suffering themselves. They are, you see, they are no choice because due to the, the lack of their wisdom, you know, lack of wisdom, they don't recognize what they're doing. They're controlled by emotion, they create causes of suffering. You recognize that comes compassion to the, our enemies and also who are going to harm us and harming for others. 
So that's the reason in this kind of words, listening, contemplate, meditate, and then wisdom arises. Long as wisdom comes, comes compassion to others. So that compassion is called unconditional compassion. Very powerful compassion. That kind of compassion you cannot buy, you know, uh, it's priceless compassion. It's pure compassion. That compassion then introduced to our anger, introduced to our emotions, introduced to our negative deeds, purify our karma and increasing the, all the Buddha's qualities. So that is the causes of Buddha. So that kind of compassion, where does it come from? Come from its enemy who harm for us. So now you really look deeper where is that person is a treasure. The person is a treasure. So that's why Buddhist Savas recognize enemy is a treasure. Ordinary people, enemy is enemy, okay? Buddhist Savas, enemy is treasure. The, the king of buy, king of find easily, you know, like that kind of treasure. If we wanted to become Buddha, without that, how can we become Buddha? First, we promise big, we say we're going to benefit other beings and we're going to become Buddha you know, and going to benefit others. We're going to purify our karma. We promise so much, but then treasure is there. You're not going to use that. <laughs> so we don't recognize our treasure. Then big promise, but drawing things opposite. So that's the reason. See, Bodhisattvas uh, drawing everything is correct means they recognize what they're doing. This, this treasure, they, they found the treasure enemy. Okay, so if we really wanted to cultivate compassion, we need these enemies, recognize all these childish beings. Uh, you know, it's reality that what they're doing, they create suffering, their own and the suffering for others. Uh, so I think we finished there today. If time is gone, thank you everyone. We cannot talk more than two hours. Otherwise, we bring this one doesn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> so read again and really special instructions we really need and use this and we can change our life. Thank you everyone. So now we're going to do dedication. Thank you. Mr. Chair and Lord, please, can you read this dedication? Yes, Kempo. In my hole, in the center is the marvelous Buddha, Amitabha of boundless light. On the right side is the Lord of great compassion. And on, and on the, the left, left is Vajrapani, the Lord, Lord of powerful means. All are surrounded by limitless Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Immeasurable peace and happiness is the blissful pure land of Dewashin. When I and all beings pass from samsara, may we be born there without taking samsaric rebirth. May I have the blessing of meeting Amitabha face to face by the power of the blessings of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the Ten Directions, may we attain this aspiration without hindrance. Teyata pensadriya awa bodha naya soha. Bodhicitta, the excellent and precious mind. Where it is unborn, may it arise. Where it is born, may it not decline, but ever increase higher and higher. By this virtue, may I achieve omniscience, by defeating all enemies, confusion, may all who travel on the waves of birth, old age, sickness, and death cross the ocean of samsara. As Manjushri, the warrior, realized the ultimate state, and as did Samantabhadra, I will follow in their path and fully dedicate all the merit for all sentient beings. 
May the teachings of the great Trikunta, Radna Shri, who is omniscient, Lord of the Dharma, Master of Interdependence, continue and increase through study, practice, contemplation, and meditation until the end of samsara. Thank you, Kempo. Thank you, Kempo La. Thank you, Kempo La. Thank you, Kempo. See you tonight. Thank you. See you tonight. You're on mute, Kempo. Thank you, everyone. See you evening. Bye. Bye. Find the treasure, okay? I'm not looking too hard. Any treasure you find, don't look. I'm going to find treasure now.